What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little while since I actually made anything. I say a little while, it's been like a month. It's been crazy, I went to Greece and then I got back and I've been looking at houses and there is a video coming on where all the videos have been, so stay tuned for that. But today I wanna to jump straight back in at the deep end and I wanna show you how to change the color of objects using Photoshop. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So jumping into Photoshop, you can see I've got my image loaded up here. It's a lovely red Audi. I would own one of these cars in a heartbeat if I could afford one, but I can't. So what I want to do is I want to change this car from red to green, just to show you guys a pretty substantial contrast. What I've gone ahead and done is I've created a rectangle just down here with the green that I want to change the car to. So the first thing that you want to do is grab the color that you want to change your object to and create a rectangle in that color. If you are stuck for choices of colors, there are a thousand and one places that you can go online. Just go ahead onto Google, type in color palettes, hit enter, go to one of those websites and you will be spoiled for choice. Once you've got the color that you want to change your object to, we need to get the color that the object currently is. Now, there's a whole bunch of ways to do this. Again, I'm gonna create another rectangle and I'm gonna set my fill color to the color of the car. But there's a slight issue here. As you can see in these areas, there's a lot of reflection on the car, a lot of shine, so it's not truly representative of the color. So we kind of wanna average this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and using the lasso tool, I'm just gonna grab an area of the car that doesn't have too much reflection on it. So I'm gonna go for this area just down here, just like that. Now using this area as a selection, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control J. And what that's gonna do is copy just this area onto a new layer. So we can see here, it's just that section of the car. From here, hit control and click on the layer thumbnail of that layer. What that's gonna allow you to do is make a selection of that area. And all we're gonna do is go ahead, go to filter, hit blur, and then hit average. Now, what that's gonna do is give us an average of the color inside that selection. So this is the average red of our car. The next thing we need to do is create a rectangle with that color inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate, just hold down Alt and duplicate my rect green rectangle. And then opening the layer properties, I'm gonna go ahead and click through to my color selection and I'm gonna pick that red. Once you're happy with the color, hit OK and you can go ahead and close out of the properties window. You can also go ahead and delete your average layer. We don't need that anymore and switch back on the car layer. So now we have the color of the car and the color we want the car to be. Next thing to do is to generate a hue saturation layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and in my adjustments, I'm just gonna go ahead and click hue saturation. And using this little selector tool here, just click there and we're gonna click on the average red color. Now you can see if I slide this around, it's gonna change the color of all of the reds in the image. And that's pretty much what we want. What I'm gonna do is slide it all the way to the left and using these sliders here, I'm gonna narrow the selection slightly just so that I can get a better selection of just the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this around until it picks. You can see here it's picking the grass in the background. As I get towards the reds, it starts to pick the car. I'm gonna get slide it to a point where the car is mostly selected. And as you can see, the road here has been picked up a little bit. Don't worry too much because we are gonna be applying a mask to the car at the end. So it's not too much of a problem if everything else gets picked up a little bit. So now that we've got our car selected using the hue saturation panel, we're gonna go ahead and match these colors. You just go through the hue, saturation, and the lightness and match up your colors. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and slide until this is roughly the same shade of green. So it's quite a deep green. So I'm gonna go about there. Now this one is a little bit darker than the green I have and maybe just a little bit more saturated, somewhere around there. Now if I zoom in, you can see that's a pretty good color match and the car has changed color. <laughs> it's kind of that simple. As I mentioned, we are gonna go ahead and get rid of this business going on down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete both of my rectangles and clicking on the layer mask for the hue saturation layer, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Control I. What that's gonna do is it's gonna fill the layer so that none of our changes have been applied. And then using the brush tool, 
I'm gonna go ahead and just paint back in my car. Now you are gonna have to get a bit technical because if you do come too far around, you are obviously gonna get some of this kind of edging around the edge of the car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the side in where I know there's no issue. And you can see that the color just changes. Nice and easy, not too difficult at all. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish painting in this area around the car. And I'll be back in just a moment to show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Okay, so after a little bit of playing around and I kind of had to use the pen tool on this area just here, but this is the finished article. This is what it should look like when you've color changed your image. And actually, as I'm saying this, I've just noticed down here, there's a bit of a situation. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab my brush tool and making sure that I've got black as my foreground color. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that back out. That is roughly the end result. That is pretty much what you can expect from this technique. It's nice and quick and simple, and it's even easier if you don't already have a color in mind because you don't have to color match. You can just go ahead and slide through those hue and saturation sliders until you get a color that you like. Now, another really nice thing about this technique is that once you have everything masked and you've changed all your colors, if you do decide that you want to tweak the color, you don't have to remask it and start all over again. All you have to do is come down to the hue saturation tool, use the eyedropper and pick the color of, in this case, the car or whatever object it is you're trying to change the color of and just move the hue slider. If you want it to be orange, you can have it orange. If you want to change it back to red or pink or purple or blue, any color you want it to be, you can go ahead and just use the hue slider, slide it around, play with it, find something you really, really love. And it's that simple. All right, guys, that is the video. If you did like it, hit that like button, subscribe if you are not already. I am back to regular uploads now, I promise. And there is a video coming to explain where I've been and why I haven't been uploading. Leave me some comments. Let me know if you think this effect will be useful for you in your photography or in your thumbnails or in just about anything. Take it easy. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.